Hello guys, my name is Fox and I'm with part 25 for Oxum campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So in the previous episode we managed to successfully destroy the rebellion faction who's been trying to increase the power of the council and there's actually another one starting to pop but not as huge because <laughs> we have most of our vassals in prison now for being the part of it and hopefully or probably they're gonna stay there until the end of their lives and yeah after this after th right after the faction we managed to declare another one uh, another one war on Abyssinia so now they only have two provinces left and just not to disband my army or my mercenary army I decided to go and declare a war immediately on uh, Alodia after that and we already almost won it already crushed all the armies and sieged down the war goal so just a couple extra months and we should be able to finish this off and yeah we also have a plot going to kill the king of Abyssinia so if, if hopefully it's gonna succeed, we're gonna be able to take another one province uh, from him as well. Uh, Axum gets high taxes. Okay, sure. Well, a revolt risk is not really too much of a problem. And, oh! After the of siege, I drug... Oh, I like dragged uh, his entire family into my prison or something. Yeah, I do have his wife at least. Um, hmm. Princess of Abyssinia. I probably should be trying to ransom the ones he's gonna be willing to ransom. Because I think as soon as the war gonna end, uh, they're all gonna get released. So I might as well try and get money from them while I can. Even some lowborns are, uh, are willing to get uh, ransomed, which is kind of strange. <coughs> sure, princesses you could have. Uh, actually, it's probably gonna be easier this way if I were to ask for ransoming the prisoners. Any of these guys you want to ransom? Looks like not anymore. Do you have any money? You do have some money, but they're all probably lowborn. So, I guess it's time for us to enforce demands. Thanks for the province. Oh, thanks for, uh, for making my won't look even better and yeah wrong type of holding something something uh huh actually have yeah we haven't succeeded in making cobra tribe so it looks like we're gonna have the same problem with kasawa huh. if i were to build like a temple in there it might help but it's gonna be a waste of money so uh yeah i'm just gonna go and give it away Hmm, I couldn't do it personally, right? Because to upgrade it to a castle, I needed to be the, uh, the proper religion. So I'm just gonna go and give it away to a random person. And hopefully it's not gonna be too terrible. I'm just gonna get someone with like, I don't know, diplomacy. And we're gonna get to Kasala. Hopefully we're not gonna be too pissed with this land. And yeah, I guess it's time for us to stand down the mercenaries. Because King of Abyssinia is still alive. And probably not gonna die uh, <clears throat> too soon. So yeah, we're just gonna disband you. And it's probably time uh, for uh, probably time for some peace time. We actually finished our operating our capital. Might as well go and queue like another one. Or maybe we could wait a little bit. Have, like a couple of months, couple of years. <clears throat> a faithful and trusted dog has finally taken his last breath. I just bury him in Castle Garden, and there's another one hunt. Oh yeah, by the way, we picked up a um, claim on this island in Solanki. Oh yeah, and you're actually pretty weak right now. Uh, it's sieged down by Solanki Revolt. Oh, I should not have disbanded this mercenary band. I should have used them for the war with Solanki. Hmm, because bringing, uh, bringing my personal armies there would be a little bit slow. But Solanki doesn't have any allies. Would I actually be able to siege down this island while it's siege down by the revolt? Would I be hostile to them? I don't know. <laughs> but the only way the only way for us to check is declare war. So I just gonna claim catch while we can. I'm gonna be just you know, using just my personal armies in there. Not, uh, just not to trouble my vassals and not piss them off too much 
I still would need to use their fleets though. So let's consent the fleets here. Except these ones for now. Because I need them for this army. I'm just gonna combine them all in uh, in here. Are you going all there? Yeah. And you also go there. Uh, we do have some boats in there. We might as well go and bring them. I don't know if I would need them. We'll see. Um, boats travel in there relatively fast. So. Uh, so are we hostile to you? We are hostile due to the war on their nominal leash. So I should be able to receive catch uh, from the rebels. And get it for myself. Uh, and we have another one. Uh, hunt. Even though we're supposed to be in the war. Yeah, vassals are gonna get pissed about me raising the boats. But I wouldn't need them for a long time. Just need... Just need to bring my army there. And actually, we're, yeah. It seems like we're getting a pretty significant bonus to our army size uh, after we disbanded this mercenary band. So I guess <clears throat> it was a relatively sensible decision. Uh, considering that we were not getting hired and probably would not uh, have gotten hired in quite a long time. And we actually have 20% chance to become brownie. Please work, please work, please work. And it didn't. Oh well. Um, I have returned it to my court and we didn't got anything. Of course. That's uh, most of the times how our freaking hunts end up, unfortunately. Uh, by the way, Fatimids, what are you up to? You don't want to attack me yet, no? No. And you actually only have 4,000 army. You're st starting to look like a freaking juicy target. If I were to like raise all of my armies plus use like two mercenary bands, I could actually uh, kick your butt. Probably not gonna have enough. Uh, probably not gonna have enough uh, money to support two mercenary bands at the same time, or at least not for a long time. But yeah, just just as a crazy idea, you might think that. Uh, to attack Fatimids at some point. And actually, yeah, it's, it is it is going to be our ultimate goal <clears throat> to get into the fight with Fatimids because we want uh, we want to reach Jerusalem. So we would need... Oh, what's going on in here? It's like a huge outbreak of consumption. That's cool. Uh, and actually, Basilis now also has one of the provinces in Jerusalem. I hope it's going to get reconquered by Fatimids at some point because... I don't want to have to fight Basilius uh, as well at some point also. This siege takes a really long time. Don't we have any like uh, siege leaders anywhere? Oh, I couldn't even... Yeah, I couldn't even appoint uh, leaders. Probably because I'm in hostile territory or something. So, that's fine. Let's just go and let uh, the war goal get siege down. This guy have no allies. So, no, no one I should really be concerned about. And he only has... 500 troops, so should be a pretty easy war for us to do. Our vassals are not upset, and for some reason our plot's still not firing. We lost like 3%, but it's still above 100, so it should be firing. Like really soon, but it's not, and I'm really disappointed. Oh! What's happened in the Kasala? Where the hell you got this city from all of a sudden? What? It was Kasala I just gave away, right? And it was a tribe. But now it has a freaking barony and a city in here. How? What? Alcopper still stays as a tribe. Um. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure there was no second holding in here. But you somehow managed to... You somehow managed to... Make a freaking city and a barony out of a tribe. I guess I'm happy with that, but I, I know I want to know your freaking secret. And my wife is pregnant again. Talking about my wife, my child already needs education. Yeah. So let's go and set focus to him on like struggle, and we're also gonna change his educator from me. Oh, this Ashkenazi guy is still alive. And any shepherdy guys? Looks like not really. Uh, so sure. We're gonna make him educate you. Even though he's not the best one, as I already mentioned. And you're probably gonna get a freaking uh, uh, learning education, which is not the best one. But still, going for uh, 
code for Jewish culture seems appropriate. Even though, if our ruler were to become a Ashkenazi, or a Shepardi, or Shepardi, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, all of our vassals are going to be hitting us for temporarily, or at least until they're going to change their cultures, and to, to change their cultures they're going to uh, take quite a lot of work as well. They're not really going to hit us, but they're going to have a debuff, which is also still not ideal. I uh, also need a new commander, let's just go and appoint whoever, and it's all fine, we are sieged the top holding. As a bishopric shouldn't really take that much time. Uh, Lever reinforcements, uh, reinforcements and Axum. What the fuck is this? 11,000 rebels? I hope it's not the, the rebels I'm fighting with, right? I couldn't really tell by their flag. But what kind of freaking rebellion could have 11,000 rebels on their side? I've got no idea. I hope they're not gonna engage me. Because I don't have any boats to... Uh, to run onto. And they are moving into freaking Kutch. Oh my god. Should I just go and disband my army right now? Fuck's sake, what's going on? Don't you say it? Yeah, it is this guy. He hired 10,000 troops? How the fuck? Is it like mercenaries? I don't know, he's in debt, so mercenaries supposed... Ah. Uh -huh. I should not have disbanded my boats, and I'm not really going to be able to get them in time. If I were to disband my troops, I'm going to lose 2,000. But if I were not to disband them, I'm probably going to lose more. When you're going to arrive? Hmm. In Kacha, 12th of December. Could I siege down this thing quick enough to disband my armies? <sighs> For fuck's sake. Why do you need this province? Don't you have anything else to siege down, you piece of shit? You have Solanke all the way in here. God damn it. What is rebellion even about? A taken? What? Okay, I don't know. But yeah, it's probably gonna be better for me to just dismount my armies before they're gonna get smashed by 11k. Um, Stubborn Baron of Oxum is really getting on my nerves. So, uh, Axum gets diplomacy advice, as a percent chance of me getting content. Now, content is not really the best trait of the traits, so I can work something, something. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a really, like, freaking annoying. And this guy just assaulted, of course. What else he would do? One thousand heresy has appeared in Uncobra. 10,000 rebels! Also with hired fucking troops. How are you allowed to hire them? When you have minus 100 ducats, it should be like turning on you and you got them second if it's mercenaries. Is it mercenaries? Could I actually see it? I couldn't see them in there, but maybe they are just from Indian region that I'm not allowed to look at. Also, we have my nephew to educate. I think I'm gonna send him to this Ashkenazi guy as well. And I'm gonna give him a struggle education too. Because we don't really have... Any other Israelite cultured guys in here, so sure. Um, someone got converted to Jewish faith. So what are we gonna do with this? With this bullshit now? I just lost 2,000 troops. I hope they're gonna be replenishing quickly enough. Oh, 24, uh, another 20% chance of me can run me. Please work, please work. And it didn't work this time as well. Uh, I think the sensible thing for me <coughs> to do would be just to wait for this rebellion to finish and then go for Kanch. Because if we were to try to siege it down again, they're just gonna bring their armies again. Or what I could do is just uh, keep my fleet up. The only problem with it would be that they are pretty expensive and my vassal is gonna be upset. Let's just wait for our uh, troops to replenish a little bit and then we'll see. Uh, we need a regent, we could create stuff. Uh, how's our plot looking? Still more than 100, what the fuck? Why is it not firing? I'm pretty sure the... At least at some point in the game... Oh, another one fighting revolt. Uh, at least at one point in the game, maybe I heard it somewhere, that, that 
If you have more than 100% plot power, the plot should fire in like less than a year. I'm pretty sure there was already more than a year past and it still haven't fired, so I don't know why. Or I don't know if, uh, if uh, any rules ch changed or anything. Also, we already got like two times of these pop-ups. Might as well go and spend some of these tech points. Because we're quite far from military organization. But we might go and increase like our light infantry. Because we have our special units as light infantry, right? Or something like this. With these Ethiopian uh, drilling grounds. So it might be useful to get some extra technology out of them. And so I have no idea if it even affects the game much or not. Uh, my leash didn't attack me when I've been trying to facilitate in wax, that's fine. Uh, by the way, for how long this rebellion gonna last? Uh, it's already 95%. So yeah, you should... What this war was about, it? Uh, actually, after all. Summons war for Gujarat. I got no freaking idea how you could pull this through and how you managed to get to the positive income or to the positive balance if you've been losing money every damn month. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Also, I'm known as a kind now, that's cool. And we have another one nephew who needs education. Sure, let's go and make him into <laughs> struggle as well. And this guy probably not gonna have enough slots anymore to educate my children and there is no more Ashkenazi or Sepha or uh, Shepardy guys around there unfortunately so I'm just gonna give you to someone with high marshal so maybe he's gonna make a decent person out of you um New realm. Sultan Turgul of Kuja has decided to abandon nomadic life. Oh, okay, so... Someone just settled in here. And created Kucha. Oh, that's a pretty terrible realm. Sure, why not? Uh, so this rebellion should end like any second, I hope. 95% war score. And... Oh! <laughs> but if this rebellion were to end... Uh... This guy w would inherit the war, and he would still have 15,000 troops on him. <coughs> okay. All of a sudden I'm regretting my freaking decision uh, for declaring a war on him. But we'll see what's gonna happen. I could fight 15 or 10,000 troops by using a lot of mercenaries, but I, <laughs> I would prefer not to. If possible. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, and apparently he just lost some war score. Okay, this, this is really getting strange. Also, one of these provinces got resieged. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do what I planned to do. I'm just gonna raise my personal armies again. I'm just gonna raise all, all the fleets again, but this time I'm not gonna be standing them down. I'm gonna have them on the shore, uh, waiting for these guys to arrive, if they were to arrive. And if necessary, we could always just retreat to the boats and hopefully stay safe. And they were gonna try to resiege uh, the wall, uh, war goal again because we already started to lose war score. As the trade goes on, seemingly never ending, you can barely keep your eyes open. You seem to have no energy at all. I'm having fatigue. Okay. And my uh, court physician is treating me as best he can. And I'm getting excellent treatment. So it looks like pretty much every time the treatment succeeds. And I think if, if your court physician has like high uh, uh, learning skill, I don't know what the exact number sh should be, but it looks like every time it works out perfectly, which is pretty nice. And now we have a fever as well. It's coming with fatigue, but we still have excellent tre uh, treatment. That's great. Mm, by the way, our diplomat doesn't necessarily need to be on this island anymore. So, what do we want to get a claim on? Or do we? what else do we want to do? Like, <laughs> this so descent mechanic seems like pretty damn useless. But I might just send someone to Fatimids just to fuck uh, with them, with his vassal, just so descent in his realm. Sure, like here. I don't know if it's gonna help at all, but 
just for the sake of not doing anything else. Uh, also what I might do, I might just go and disband my... No, I can't. I thought about disbanding my personal fleet, but then I'm not gonna have enough to bring all of these troops, unfortunately. Uh, oh, I'm getting gout. Your point with hot, swollen joints, with disturbed sleep, you have contracted gout. Okay, I think gout is not curable, or at least in the 11th century. So it's probably gonna be painful and probably not really gonna uh, increase our life expectancy. Your court physician has come to see you and offer you treatment of your illness. I don't want experimental treatment, but let's go and get the uh, well-tested treatment. And actually feel better. So looks like he nulled the health penalty, at least for some time. That's great, but for now it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. Let's hope we're gonna be able to get some of our war score back on this war, because it's getting kind of annoying. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you can leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, definitely do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.